Another topic you've touched on is vitamin D, and I think uh, a lot of us, if not most of us, are probably deficient um, and not really knowing it. How do we find that out, and and what can we do? I mean, most, most of us live and work inside of a building right. during the beneficial times of the day or live in a part of the country that's where it's not available from the sun at least nine months out of the year. True, and it, you have to go back to... We are uh, a billion-year-old carbon. I believe it was Joni Mitchell in a song said something like that. We are uh, two million years of adaptation in the process, the human organism. And for the first 99.9% of those two million years, we lived outside. Uh, and we absorbed sunshine. And if you were from a northern climate, uh, my ancestry from Ireland, they would begin working in the fields in March and they would slowly take on distant sun and slowly build up a tolerance to the sun. And by the time fall arrived, they have stored enough vitamin D in the liver that they can survive the winter. Take us, put on clothes, stay inside, no vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is rampant. Uh, and what they find is, first of all, it's not a vitamin. Uh, vitamin is considered something that you have to have in the diet and it's essential. Actually, we make it in the skin and so we are photosynthetic creatures. Photo is in light, synthetic to make. We make vitamin D upon the action of sunlight on the skin from cholesterol. But there's a number of reactions that have to occur and they're inhibited by things like high fructose corn syrup, um, trans fatty acids, uh, heavy metals or uh, essential mineral deficiencies. In other words, you may be getting a little sun, but there is a number of uh, uh, imbalances in your body that says you're not going to convert A to B to C to eventually 125 dihydroxycholecalciferol, which is the active thing your body wants in the blood. And so what we have now is vitamin D regulates 20% of the human genome. It's involved in depression, cancer, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, stability. What they find is that about 60% of adults who are staggering around with the cane. You give them vitamin D levels, 5,000 IU a day, and they don't need the cane anymore. Hi, and thanks for watching this video. If you like that video and you like our channel, the best thing you can do is support us with a Patreon donation. You can find the link here on the right. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, that link here on the right. While you're at it, be sure to check out some of our more recent videos as well. You can find those right below. Thanks again for watching.